In Europe, the HRV is powered by a hybrid system taken from the inside and a cord. In the US, the HRV is powered by a 2.0 liter four cylinder gasoline engine with 158 horsepower. If that sounds familiar, it's because the Honda Civic has the same engine as its base powertrain. The 2.0 liter four cylinder engine in the HRV feels slow and weak. However, since the SUV shares its platform with the Civic, a turbocharged 1.5-liter engine with 180 horsepower or a hybrid powertrain could be added to the lineup in the future. At the moment, the standard is front-wheel drive and a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, but all-wheel drive is an option on all trims. The old HRV didn't have the quiet athleticism we've come to expect from Hondas, but the new one fixes that with a chassis taken from the quick Civic. The best gas mileage estimates are for models with front-wheel drive, which get 26 miles per gallon in the city and 32 mpg on the highway. When you add all-wheel drive, the fuel economy drops to 25 miles per gallon in the city and 30 mpg on the highway. When we get a chance, we'll take the new HRV on our 75 mph highway fuel economy test road and post the results here. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the HR Gas V's mileage. The redesigned Civics gave the HRV a more modern interior design, which is both classic and nice. The front seats are comfortable and supportive, and they can be changed in a lot of ways. The old model had Honda's unique magic seat in the second row, which lets the back bench flip and fold to make a very low, flat floor. Even though the HRV is small, it has the most cargo space in its class because of this feature. All models come with either a 7.0-inch or 9.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The larger display offers wireless connectivity for these features, but it's only available on the top EXL trim. A wireless phone charging pad comes with the EXL as well. We also expect to see Sirius XM satellite radio, navigation built into the dashboard, and a Wi-Fi hotspot, at least as options. The new HRV doesn't have that feature anymore, but Honda says that the new model's cargo area is bigger and the liftover height is lower to make it easier to load heavy things.